What's good, YouTube? Akasa Kobe here, so we're finally gonna get into the tale of Jenny and Screech. I didn't want to do this one until I had the video on the screen for you guys, because this is like a little mini freaking movie, right? Like a short little movie. It's 13 and a half minutes long, three different songs together. I believe it's Jenny's tale, Screech's tale, and then Violet's tale is what one of you told me in the comments of Animal Flow, whenever you guys were suggesting all of the things. So, yes, this is like a little mini movie. I'm super excited for it. I'm glad that I'm able to have the video up on the screen for you guys for this. It's going to make it that much cooler of a video. So I'm not going to waste any time because this video is already going to be long as hell. So I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck all those apples. Let's lock this shit down. Let's get into this. This is The Tale of Jenny and Screech by Ren. Hmm. Wow. This guy's classical guitar playing is fantastic. His finger style is incredible. <laughs> so like flamenco-y. <laughs> those runs. That's a very extended run technique that he uses. He did the same thing in high rent as well. So very extensive runs on the guitar. I love that shit. I live for that shit. Very, very progressive. Ren's so chill. <laughs> I love how he just spins around in circles while he's lolling himself, and then he's just like, alright, let's lean here. I got some shit to say. <laughs> <laughs> it barely sounds like vocals there. It literally sounds like a very, like, um, it sounds almost like a saw. That's what I'm thinking of. It sounds like if a saw were recorded in like the 1920s, right? And he's doing that with his voice. His pitch is so interesting. He can do so much cool stuff with his voice. <laughs> It was a quiet dark night in an empty street Somewhere at London City mm. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep mm. Well, she knew this time So he's telling Jenny's story right now She's walking home right now It's late at night Okay Day. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep well, she knew this town, she knew this floor because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you blame? Mmm, he's saying she knows this place so well, she knows all the cracks in the floor and she just wants to escape at this point. I think a lot of people feel that way about the place they're from, right? Jenny's story sounds like one of a little bit of sadness and loneliness as it stands right now. Oh, she wanted to escape. Can you play? Mm. Well, on the very same night in a different place, there was this hooded young youth by the name of James. Mm. Nice speed up there. Uh, climaxing into this figure, James, he just said, James, appearing here. Well, on the very same night, in a different place, there was this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old and out of his brain, he'd been smoking ganja with the boys. Mm. Says James is out of his mind. He's youthful and 14 and he's losing his brain. He's been smoking too much ganja with the boys. 
They walked this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, a 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul He says, this kid at 14 years old had the devil's sight on his soul. He was out on these streets committing all of these craziness, all this craziness, right? And his friends even gave him a nickname because of it, and they called him Screech. Probably because his presence was undeniable, right? Just like if you hear a screech, it would make sense. <laughs> As Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was all right, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. So wow. This is crazy. Let me pull up these lyrics real quick. I want to make sure that I just get them all right. <laughs> you guys know me. I'm picky about that kind of stuff. Let this load real quick. We'll pull those lyrics up once that loads. Yeah. A divine intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Mm -hmm. Sirens sound in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner that I... Saying Jenny's just hyper-focused right now. <laughs> Hyper-focus is happening for Jenny. She's not comfortable at all in the situation that she's in currently. He was quick on his feet, he was a liar, a thief, a 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. As Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was all right, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens wow. sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. A poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me your... <sighs> had to happen, didn't it? I knew this story was going to take that direction. It just had that feeling, the way he's building it up. Man. Poor Jenny. This is like genuinely the kind of stuff you have to watch out for in real life, too. He's just explaining it in story fashion. Very, very awesome storytelling here so far. And we're only a minute and 40 seconds in. We still have a long ways to go. A poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I, I love how real he keeps it right there. Down to the give me all your money, bitch. Like, yeah, keeping it real to what it would be in life, not dancing around with metaphors here. There is no dancing around with metaphors in this one. Ren is being straightforward to the point with this. A poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it, bitch, are you listening to me? Jen mm, the inflection, man. Really dedicated to the inflection of dramatizing the story in this. I like that. That's a very good technique right there. I love that he is using his voice to its full effect to really make you feel this story. It would be very boring if you were listening to the, this story in a regular fashion almost. But when it's inflected like this, it hits you so damn hard because it's like you're experiencing it yourself. He's very good at uh, drawing the experience into the listener, right? Very, very good. Love it. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone. Don't fucking look at me. I mean it, bitch. Are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite. Feel like liquid mm. nitrogen in the dark night. She Damn, now he's getting metaphorical here. He's saying she's like liquid nitrogen, man. Here we go. We're going to look up the lyrics to Jenny's tale right here. It's almost over on this one. We'll get the screeches next. All right, let's go back here. Down here. He said... Jenny frees the statue like a lady-shaped stalactite. 
Stalactite. Stalactite. Okay, yeah. I know that word. Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night. Bars, dude. Great storytelling. Very, very poetic storytelling. I mean it, bitch! Are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move but stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear- That's... That's that anxiety response. Fight or flight and sometimes freeze is also the third response. Nothing is also a response. Right? No response can be a response. And that's what has happened to poor Jenny here. She's frozen in the face of fear in a deadly situation. And unfortunately, that doesn't usually work out too well for people. To find strength to move, but stay still as a statue in high heeled shoes. What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God, I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks. You think I don't mean it, go? You don't. Yep. <sighs> great, great storytelling here. I love this. Healed shoes. What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God, I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks. You think I don't mean it, go? You don't know me. The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech Reach with the sheep, the, the blade with the teeth. The, hmm. the last thing you see will be a boy called. And he uses that to start describing Screech's next movement. Very tie, the tie-in sentence there. Love shit like that. Love, Ren uses all of these very, very useful literary techniques inside of his writing that make it sound so smooth and complex, compendious, as I would say. Fucking hell, man. He knows his shit. Fucking very good with grammar. Mean it go? You don't know me. The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech Reach with the sheep, the, the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete. And he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. Wow. He said the blade with the teeth, the serrated knife, right? <sighs> That could bite through steel, slide, slice concrete. He swung possessed with the devil in his chest. Full evil intent, no care given. Statue that she was turned to butter in a breath. Melted to the ground. <sighs> Folded, right? Shit like this happens every day to unfortunate people who do not have the proper defense to protect themselves. It's very important to be able to protect yourself. I've always believed that it's better to be dangerous and not use it than to be in a situation where you might have to use it and not know it, right? Learn as much as you can about defending yourself, for sure. Self-defense is a must in the way the world is now. And he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. It was a quiet dark night in an empty mm. street somewhere at Nanta City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out. Mm, these chords, very jazzy chords. Mm -mm. So nice. Ren is a brilliant guitar player. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor. Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before. I guess that she escaped. Wow. It's such a shame. Damn. And this is where Jenny's tale ends. It says she's found somewhere. Jenny laid still on the cold concrete. She's found somewhere to sleep. Tying it back into the beginning of the story. Of her walking home to go to sleep. She knew the town. She knew this floor. She walked it about a thousand times before. 
I guess that she escaped, but not in the way that was intended. <sighs> Potential cut short. It's a shame to fucking see in life. People can strip the world of other people's potential. Like, whenever somebody takes the life of an important person in people's lives, which is obviously any time a life is taken, the, what that does, you don't realize how important people are. You They, they might be just another person to you that you're going to take out, but... There could be a line of hundreds of people that are going to be destroyed from that. It's so evil. <sighs> wow. And it's so, the way this ended is just such a drop down into a jazzy chords. And the stutter style of vocals with the runs and the little gaps in it. The uh, 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 uh kind of stuff. You know what I mean. Very, very technically sound. Escape. It's such a shame. Okay. Let's switch over here to the lyrics for Screech, I believe, is next. We'll look up that. Intermission, right? Short intermission. Well, let's talk about that first one for a second, though. That was really, really well written. Like I just said, I really liked that a whole lot. A very good intro to explaining this story. I'm guessing we're going to go into Screech going on even more of a rampage and possibly getting himself killed or arrested. Who knows? These tales go one of two ways, usually. Let's see which way Ren takes this. This first part ended in tragedy, so that was like a tragedy. We'll see what Screech's tale is like. you hear every note of that guitar he really puts the emphasis on it with his picking hand to make sure that all of those notes are very emphasized for you you can really feel the emotion inside of that guitar playing love it <laughs> using a technique that I fucking love a whole lot where you bounce your fingers in a repetitive fashion and it, you're doing hammer-ons and pull-ups essentially but your picking finger will only be doing a couple picks here or there and these fingers will be catching the hammer-ons and pull-ups and it makes it sound like a lot more notes like so many notes than what your picking finger is actually hitting on the guitar string but you're your uh, fretting finger, your fretting hands, is going in fast motion and causing all of these sounds to happen. For anyone who doesn't know about guitar, that's what he's doing there, and I fucking love that technique. It sounds so cool if you can do it properly. <laughs> the graffiti behind him that is some dope graffiti that is really cool our story it starts right mm, carnival music <laughs> love it our 
our story it starts right at the end of the life of poor Jenny clocked out like Big Ben they screech they boy oh. colorful metaphors Ren wonderful <laughs> Jenny clocked out like Big Ben they screech they boy where did he go? He melted into the black night just like snow. Disappeared. He's out of here. Bye. See ya. No reason to hang about. Melted into the black night just like snow. Every time I listen to Ren, I hear him do something vocally that I haven't heard him do before yet. <laughs> like... <sighs> Fucking hell, bro. <laughs> this guy. Like snow. Patrick, man, let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick. Really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna do like some surfing kind of stuff here, <laughs> like that classic surfing kind of sound. And he's like, "Come on, open up this door, bro. I done did some mess. You need to help me out, Patrick." <laughs> Patrick, man, let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick. Really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no more. But screech. Man, you have to bear in mind this screech character is like what a, a 14 year old kid, right? <laughs> Did it really be like that out there for some kids? I was up to no good when I was in high school. Bad. We don't we don't have to go into details about that, but let's just say not good. <laughs> on knocking till his knuckles. I think I killed a Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 No refuge for our villain for the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind that does away Saying Karma's already spun her wheels The wheels of Karma have already spun And now you don't have your bailout that you thought you could have your friend ain't here. Even if they were, they might not let you in, right? You fucked up, Screech. <laughs> it's at hands of fate with something far more sinister in mind that does away. Ah. You gonna make a phone call, huh? <laughs> we gonna make a phone call. Hey, babe, are you in? Now, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! Dang, he's gaslighting much. <laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> hmm. When karma's wheels begin to spin, you will not get your own way. Ever. Miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest wow. knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Wow. Says he's not one to miss a fight. One hand upon the blade. He's gonna face the cops. 
This boy about to get himself shot. Screech, what you doing, man? But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am... Run, you're fantastic. <sighs> so cinematic. And the way he can just, like, change his guitar along with what he wants his voice to express is... Just uncanny, bro. It's an uncanny ability. It's a hard thing. It's a natural talent, really. I don't. I don't think it's something that you necessarily learn. Um, if if you're good at that, you've always been good at that, in my opinion, for the most part. Just very. Some people have that personality where they can just really flip around like that and. It'd be so spontaneous and tell a crazy ass story in the fashion of music like this. Just the guitar going so many different directions. We've heard so many different styles of guitar, surf guitar, classical flamenco, like a little darkness, like wild, man. So much. <sighs> <laughs> Blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that... <laughs> I'm the ender of men. <laughs> Remember whenever everyone, I think it was like four or five years ago, maybe, everyone was always running around like, I will end you. That was the fucking thing heard it all over the place everybody telling each other they were going to end each other it's like where the fuck did this shit come from <laughs> uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets these are my fucking streets and they call me fucking screech richard was an officer who said that's six foot free working back to the surfy kind of guitar <laughs> He's like, these are my fucking streets. I ain't scared of you. Y'all should be scared of me. My name is this. Bold of you to assume that they care. These are my fucking streets. And they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who said that six foot free. Working London on the night shift. What he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. That chord he just played sounded a lot like the James Bond chord. You guys know what I'm talking about. I wonder if he got inspiration from that movie for that chord. He says, Richard was an officer, stood at six foot three, working in London on the night shift. What he didn't think he'd see was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. <sighs> you fucked up, Screech. You got yourself killed, just like I said. Terrible. This shit really happens in the world, though. Like, story time here aside, with this brilliant story Ren is telling, this shit really happens. And it's a damn shame that kids that are that young get involved in that kind of shit just because of the society that we live in. Especially over in other countries that are more, uh, less developed. That's what I'm trying to say. That are less developed than us. Those kids are out there doing crazy craziness. Like some of them are pirates and shit over in like areas like Somalian areas, places like that. You got little kids that are like pirating shit. Fucking wild, dude. And the blood diamond shit, man. <laughs> we could go for days. No time to hesitate. He fired four bullets at Screech's chest. love that he played out the gunshots just by muting the guitar and slamming as hard as he could on the strings. Love it.
And then the cameraman falls down as a pers first person perspective of Screech falling. That's fucking dope right there. Fucking dope. Ah, oh, story it ends right to the start. Mm. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. God damn. Lying one street apart. <sighs> Deep as fuck, dude. This reminds me a lot of Tom Waits. You guys know who Tom Waits is? Like the storytelling side of it, the lyricism in it. Wow. The star, young Screech, and poor Jenny, lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless. And it's such a shame It's such a shame I like that little shame That was nice <laughs> That was really nice Man That's sad, dude That felt so sad listening to it Ren really captured that so well That was really captured well I felt that, dude the officer shaking, man. Kudos, I don't care what nobody says. Kudos to all the good cops out there. Because y'all see the most fucked up shit in the world. And have to live with that. And stay sane. Like, kudos to all the good cops out there. Y'all are badasses, for real. It's such a shame. So now we are on Violet. Oh, Screech's tale, man. Screech's tale got deep, told so much storytelling inside of there. So many different directions. The panic that ensued. The realizing that you're fucked. And then facing it head on. Like, I'm the man. Whatever. And then, at the end of the day, you ended up not the bigger man. Unfortunate. So unfortunate. And now we've got Violet's tail. Okay. Y'all ready? That fucking quickness right there. That no 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 no. It was a lot of notes in a very short period of time. Ren really captures everything so well. tuned to the guitar for this part I think it sounds like it's a little bit lower on the bass side on the E string it's tuned down We've got pirate music. <laughs> oh, Ren. You do it all, don't you? Oh, nice. We got some fucking... <sighs> Double hand tapping going on here. 
love that shit. It sounds so cool on acoustic guitars. I have a lot of fun when I fuck around with tapping on my acoustics. right there fucking dope right there reminds me a lot of like gojira the kind of shit that they would do with tapping great metal band from france if you guys have never heard of them go check them out <laughs> feeling things, bro, like, I really feel like I've been watching a movie, I'm sad right now, like, I feel the melancholy, and the nostalgia, and the nostalgic stuff, right? London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive Oh, so 2005 Okay, a lady down in Paddington is fighting Okay Okay 2005 Rhythmic beeps and bloodstains She saw a lady weep She's tired and frail To set the scene We must rewind The hands of time For Violet's tale So we rewind the hands of time Where are you going with this, Ren? See, this is the most important part Because this is the one that ties the whole All of it together Gives you the shock there's going to be a, some kind of shock value to tie this story together in Violet's tale. Well, to set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. My man actually put us in a musical time machine. I love you. That's all I have to say. <laughs> of time for Violet's tale. Silent girl grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. And Man, so many kids growing up in homes like that. Girl grew up with violent starts. It's a fucking something needs to change in the world. The reason why people do those things like drinking and drugs, I know this from experiences, it's just, it usually starts with a feeling of like wanting to have fun and then the older you get into it, you start to feel more and more alone and isolated. And then the world will isolate you when they start to realize that you have a problem because a lot of people view addicts as disgusting or whatever. It's just a downward spiral, and 
the judgment just makes them want to escape more, and then you've got kids at home that have to face the consequences of those actions. It's terrible. Mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Vi left the room I'll spare you with the things he did I'm sure her mother knew Violet was a silent girl she moved out at 16 a semi-detached council flat paid for by your welfare scheme She's saying Violet went and got herself emancipated from that shit and moved out to her own place in a little flat paid for by a welfare scheme do what you gotta do. 16, a semi-detached council flat Paid for by your welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco Stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie And he was a little prick Violet was a silent girl And Violet, she fell fast See, Stevie was a wrong And the Isha knew how to charm her that always is how it is. The good girls that really want the best in life always somehow end up with these guys that don't appreciate their beauty and their value. It's disgusting. Don't jump into, like, that kind of stuff if you're just going to hurt somebody. Intentionally, right? Like, accidental shit happens in life. Sometimes things just don't work out, and that's okay. Mutual things are okay. As long as both parties can communicate with each other and come to terms with the, the things that have happened, that's okay. But when you're a guy like the Stevie character that he's introducing, he's just charming her to get something that he wants. And that's not cool. She fell fast. See, Stevie was a wrong and but he sure knew how to charm her. Every night he took a tie, but never left the room. History repeats itself. He paint her black and blue. Father, fuck. It's facts. Um, people who grow up in abused households tend to more willingly put themselves into abusive situations in adulthood, right? It's a psychological uh, thing. It's like warfare amongst your own brain where you find things that should be unacceptable, acceptable just because of experiences you've had in the life that you had in the past. <sighs> it takes a lot to break those cycles and stand the fuck up for yourself, but if, if you need to hear it, Stand the fuck up for yourself. If you got something going on, you got a problem with something around you, don't be scared to use your voice. And if somebody be doing, like, trying you like this, get the fuck out of that situation. There's no need to stay. Don't, don't allow yourself to be hurt. Too many people in this world get hurt. I've seen it my whole fucking life. Uh, she never stood a chance. The devil comes to dance. Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's tired. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I mean... Man. He 
He's been smoking, he's been drinking, he's fucked up, and now he's name calling her, and all she's trying to do is just lay here. And she feels so scared every time he's in the room. This is exactly how it is in real life. Ren ain't playing. I appreciate this because it's real. It's really, really thought provoking. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet. Why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent. Things turn violent. My God, that is fucked, bro. So I know you're up, and he pinches her eyelids and folds them up, Violet. Why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent. Things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat. Men who do that shit are fucking trash. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing. They're not even men, they're fucking bitches. In pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw when the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but. God damn, this little spoken word flow that he just flipped into, and that fucking whole scheme is so good with the cadence and the wordplay. It's graphic and brutal, the subject matter, very trigger warning. Warrants a trigger warning for some people, obviously, but my god. Fist connects and disconnects the bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow. It's like perfect syllable placement. The, and then that's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone. Full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, patty wet. It's so smooth. <sighs> Man. Brilliant writing. Perfect for the topic. So real. I'm fucking... This is unbelievable. This is fucking unbelievable. Paddy whack, one to the jaw when the tooth spat detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. She's in character. That's the role you play whenever you become scared. He's saying she's stuck in the role. It's almost like a psychosis, right? Or catatonia. It's fucked up. It feels like there's no escape, even though it, it, there is. And then the gaslighting. <coughs> Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Why don't you love me? That shit will fuck you up. I know from experience. Bo, oh, say something, Violet! Silence. Fucking say something, Violet! Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. Oh, no. So is this why she's in the hospital? Yeah. Okay. Not one word. She stays quiet.
love his runs. Not runs, that was um like an ascending chord progression up the neck of the guitar, but it goes down in tone in notation. The pitch will go down, but he's walking up the the neck of the guitar. Love that. <laughs> London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence And she cried, if I'm to die right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive Bruh You gotta be fucking kidding me Any dude who can touch a pregnant woman Deserves. <laughs> Less than the ground. The doctor Violet broke her silence and she cried If I'm to die right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed, the lights went dim In London City, far from pretty 2005, a lady that you can tell Ren really fucking lost himself in telling this story. I bet you this was very difficult for him to write. This shit is fucking deep. Unbelievable. Far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington Just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Two twins are lying side by side. A girl named Jenny and a boy named Screech. Bruh! <sighs> I can't. Ren, I can't with you. You just broke me, dude. <sighs> Damn. Um. <laughs> I don't even have... I am so unsure of what to say. <sighs> this was... Fucking unbelievable. Wow. This was brilliant storytelling, Ren. You made me fucking... I'm broke. My brain's broken. We've been... I don't even know how long I've been doing this. If you made it to this point in the video and have dealt with me for this amount of time, I appreciate the fuck out of you. Go show Ren some love. Like his video. I'm gonna do that right now. There you go. Subscribe to his channel. As always, the original video will be down in the description. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in.
as always, I'm Bakasa Kabi, a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck all those apples. Like, comment, subscribe. It'll be up here, this way. Bang that notification bell. I love you guys. If you made it to this point of the video, you're a goat. I love you. Thanks for being here. See you in the next one. Peace.